So we are going to taste the silence of a World Beer Cup winner 2016. Hello again, Sarlene, tasting the silence of a World Beer Cup winner 2016. Well, it has to be the Dutch beer, La Trappe Blonde. Um, this is a Dutch uh, Trappist beer, um, which basically um, is made in an abbey. Um, I first started brewing in 1881, and um, by the time of sort of 1894, the profits from the beer had actually built them this fantastic great new abbey um, which they still um, obviously brew from today. Um, after the Second World War, the trap, like a lot of breweries, was going through a bit of a bad patch um, because of uh, sort of lack of materials and uh, ingredients and that sort of thing. And so they started uh, producing uh, lemonade um, for, for, you know, for a little while. And then, during the sort of um, sort of early eighties, through fairly early eighties, they went in collaboration with Stella Artois, and um, then sort of pulled away and went about themselves again. And uh, they're still, as I say, they're, the monks there. It's all fully sustainable, and they're, they're brewing the beer um, up until like now, but you know, today. Um, They've got quite a few in their range, and I say this one's the, particularly the, the, the Trap Blonde. Um, it's a six and a half percent blonde beer. Um, you want to serve this at about eight to ten percent. Um, so we uh, sort of open it up and give it a try. What I must point out is what the La Trap glasses are a work of art. You know, they are really, really um, a nice glass. So let's crack open this beer. So, as you can see, it's got a slight cloudiness to it. It's got a nice head on the top. Um, it's fruity, sweet and spicy is the aroma of this. And it's a refreshing aroma. So we'll go in for a taste. Right, on the taste, it's sweet, on the initial taste, then it goes bitter, and then you get a multi, it lingers, a multi linger afterwards, um, very smooth, very rich tasting as well. Um, you can taste sort of towards the back end of it, caramels, at the beginning with sort of oranges, citrus. Um, so, you get sweetness of oranges, then it turns bitter, so then you're sort of getting the orangey peel sort of taste. And then with the maltiness, you're getting like a caramel sort of ling linger afterwards. Um, it's a lot of carbonation to it, but it's quite a tingly 
um, experience in the mouth actually. It's sort of I'm trying to get this this taste, this lingering taste. Definitely pale Munich um, malts in here. The aftertaste is, is fantastic and it still tingles in your mouth. It's like having you remember that space dust? It's not obviously it's bad. So remember the, the sweet, the space dust that you put on your tongue and it'll all pop away and that. Well, after you've had a sip of this and swallowed it, you've still got this sort of this tingling all over your mouth, inside of your mouth, um, which is very very nice sensation. This is all in all a very, very good, complex tasting blonde beer. I cannot see how people would not like this. It's just, you can see why this has um, won the World Beer Cup. Uh, you, you definitely see, see why. And it was in the category, obviously, the, the Belgium uh, style blonde ales. So, you know, this is no mug of a beer. This is this is this is good, good, good quality beer. And it's just this this complexity of the taste, from the sweetness to the bitterness to the to the sort of real maltiness at the end. Um, it's fantastic. It is really, really good. All I can say is go out, get a bowl, try it, see what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Um, you know, subscribe to the channel. You know, let's get a discussion. You know, this is this is a good beer. This is well worth going out and buying. Um, you can get it from I get it from a little specialist uh, beer shop called uh, Beautiful Beers in Bury St Edmunds. Um, and it is really, really, really good beer. This is, you've got to go and try this beer. Um, I've, I've already had this when, you know, I got introduced to this when I was, I've uh, been on my various trips to Holland and that, you know. Um, so I've had a lot of the, uh, the, the traps in the various bars and that. But if you haven't tried it, please go out and buy a bottle of this. It's, the complexity of the flavours, it is just... It is a very, very good example of a Belgian male, but brewed in Holland. You know, this you know, this comes from a Dutch Abbey, um, brewed by monks, and it's spot on. It really, really is a good beer. So hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So I can't say fairer than that. And as I always say, beer is the answer. But I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night.